In the early 1880s, Tombstone, Arizona was a violent, chaotic, roaring, mining town. Sudden death was commonplace, and the population of the Boot Hill graveyard soared. In 1880 the remains of a real, merman, were brought to Tombstone. Mermen, the male counterparts of mermaids, had a long tradition in Western mythology, dating back to the time of the ancient Greeks. The creatures are said to be human from the waist up and fish-like from the waist down. Chinese businessman Quang Qi had this particular specimen on display at his Kan Kan Cafe, where it both intrigued and horrified his customers. Although during the 19th century artifacts such as this were still thought by some to be real, the hoax can be traced back to 16th century China, where such mermen were manufactured by joining the upper part of a monkey's body with the lower part of a fish. These oddities were imported into Europe by the Dutch East India Company, where they were taken to be the remains of actual creatures. In the words of the great P.T. Barnum, there's a sucker born every minute. In 1845, Sideshow impresario P.T. Barnum began displaying a mummified mermaid supposedly caught in the waters off Fiji. Once again this was a feat of taxidermy which melded a monkey and a fish. Barnum made a fortune showing the weird creature, and there were soon many copycat creations appearing in sideshows. Although there are many mummified mermaids, mermen like the one in Tombstone, now on display at the Birdcage Theatre, are rare. There is another one of these rare artifacts on display at the Indian Trading Post in Banff, Canada.